Hey, what is going on? This is Rob from Panther. Today we're checking out how to work in perspective with some typo. First, I gotta go with, uh, I can type in Panther. Gotta go with the impact font. Click, scale it. From here, go to object, expand, click OK. I gotta create a new copy from this. I gotta scale this down, put it here somewhere. I'm gonna right click on this on group, gonna select these three letters, press Ctrl G, I'm gonna select the TER, press Ctrl G, or you can right click. And you cannot group them, but you can select them, press Ctrl G. Okay, I'm gonna put these away now, right here. And from here, I'm gonna activate the, what is that called? The perspective grid. I never use this, by the way. I don't like it that much. And from here, I'm gonna pull this up all the way here and here you can see this little diamond i'm gonna pull it even more beyond somewhere around here i think this is pretty good and you also can pull this diamond i'm gonna pull it all the way back pull this all the way back and i'm gonna pull this little diamond and as you can see these wireframes gonna go all the way back i'm gonna select these and i'm gonna position it right Where's the center? You see that? There's a the center. Okay, after this, I'm gonna long press here to the perspective grid and I'm gonna select the perspective selection tool or shift plus V. Now I can select the B A N. And as you can see, if I move it, it's gonna put it in perspective. And if I move it in here, it's gonna lock it on the left side. I'm gonna press and hold shift and make this bigger, pull the edge. Okay, so we're left with the T E R. And now if you drag it, as you can see, it's going to position it, uh, you know, to the left side, which we don't want. So we need to flip it to the right side. And here you can see this little cube. And now you, you can see the little hand in here. And I want to click to this side of the cube. Click. See that? So now it's yellow instead of blue. And if I'm going to move this, it's going to position it to the right side. See? And I'm gonna stick it right there. I'm gonna press and hold shift, make it bigger. And from here, I'm gonna click on the little X. Hopefully, actually, I need to select the perspective grid. I think now I can click on the X. There you go. Click on the X. Okay, from here, I'm gonna create a new copy of the Panther. There you go. I'm gonna swap it to stroke. Eventually, I'm gonna scale the stroke down 0, 0.5. I'm gonna recolor these. I'm gonna go with. Uh, some dark blue and i'm gonna go with the ter first i'm gonna activate the gradient i'm gonna press the letter g i'm gonna move it like this and i'm gonna double click on the dark on the black and i can recolor it i don't know i'm gonna go with uh, a magenta i'm gonna make it real funky okay there you go i'm gonna do the same thing i'm gonna press the letter i or you can select the eyedropper tool from from here or you can also activate this, does the same thing. And I'm gonna move it like that. Actually, I'm gonna swap it with the reverse gradient. Now I'm gonna right click on the lower panther with this uh, bluish color on group, select the PAN, press Ctrl G, T E R, press Ctrl G, good. Yeah, I'm gonna select both, right click, arrange, send to back. Now I'm gonna select both, go to object, blend, make. Double click on the blend, select specify steps, gonna type in 400 copies, click OK. I'm gonna select these both, do the same thing, object, blend, make, double click, specify steps, 400. Actually, I'm gonna double click on the panther and I'm gonna swap it because it's not that visible. Now it's visible and I'm gonna drag these. Actually, I'm gonna select both right click group. I'm gonna just gonna drag it. I'm gonna press and hold shift, scale it up. This is how you make this typo in perspective with the, what is that tool called? The perspective grid tool. <laughs> Thanks so much for watching. And if you're new on the channel, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you get notified with daily updates. And also check out the rest of the videos at the end. Have a good one. Bye-bye.